The votes are still being counted. Voters came out in droves last night for Maryland's primary election with limited polling centers. Some waited in line for hours to cast their ballots. That means it may be a while before we get complete results. Now, here's a look at the latest in the race for mayor. Sheila Dixon is in the lead with 30% of the votes. Brandon Scott is second with 25%, and Mary Miller is in third. This is with 47% of the precincts reporting in the race for Maryland's 7th District. Kwaise Mfume is the winner in the Democratic primary. And on the Republican side, Kimberly Klasik got the most votes. In the race for city council president, there's no winner yet, but Nick Mosby is in the lead. Shannon Sneed's in second place with 27%, and Carl Stokes in third with 25 The race for comptroller is tight. Bill Henry has 52% of the vote, and Joan Pratt has 48%. This is the first statewide election conducted mostly by mail because the primary is being held in the middle of a health crisis. Let's bring Amy Quad now. She's live with the latest on the election and some of the candidates. Amy. Good morning, and Max Kwasi and Fube ran against more than a dozen Democratic candidates to fill the seat by, that was once held by the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. Now, he won the special election back in April, and he's now the winner of the primary, and he will go up against his Republican opponent, Kimberly Klasik, in November. Kwasi and Fube. <laughs> The primary election results for the 7th Congressional District are in. Kwasi Mfume declaring victory in the Democratic race. I hold myself out to you again, as I did just on April the 28th, with outstretched arms, wanting so much to listen to you, to work with you, to build with you, to share with you, and to dream with you. Some polls close late due to large voter turnout at a limited number of polling locations, meaning we're still awaiting results for some races in this primary election. This is video taken around 930 of voters waiting in line outside Northwood Elementary School on Lock Raven Boulevard. So some of the closer races, like the Baltimore mayor race, could take a couple of days to call. This is the first time we've been able to interact in person with voters since February. This year's primary was delayed five weeks because of concerns about coronavirus transmission. From an encouraging standpoint, the fact that people are standing in line and are waiting two hours to vote, that shows how much people were involved with Process. More than 88,000 city voters sent in their ballots by mail this year. Even so, the lines to vote in person at any one of the six polling locations stretched out the door and around the corner in many instances. We all did not get our ballots in the mail. In the midst of a global pandemic and nationwide demonstrations calling for police reform, voters like Hubert Lake say he's looking for someone to now unify Baltimore City. I do believe we need a coming together and reason with each other, you know, the government and the citizens, the first responders, the law officers and everything. We don't need to work together and set against each other. Election officials expect a larger turnout than the previous presidential primary, which was 45 percent here in Baltimore City. I know I'm casting a ballot for what I hope is change. And again, results in some of the closer races, like the Baltimore mayoral race, may not come through as quickly. All ballots postmarked for June 2nd won't arrive for a couple of days, and officials say they will be collecting and counting ballots all the way up until Friday, June 12th. Reporting live this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.